Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. And I'm doing a different setup than usual. Um, let me know if you like it better like this. Um, this way you can see the cards instead of me pulling up the cards one by one when the camera was just on me. <clears throat> so for today's video of, um, like the pick a card for today is, does he or she think about me? Um, we're going to be diving in to see if he does or if she does and whatever is on their mind. Guys, if I say he a lot, um, you can change it to she. Like it's not just for um, like talking about just the masculines. It could be about any gender, but I tend to just use he a lot, but just flip it to she because that would resonate as well. So you have three piles that you can choose from. You have pile one, pile two, and pile three with lovely shells as the reference. So if you want to look from afar, you can pause the video and right now and see which one resonates. But I'm also going to hold the shells up to the camera. So this is pile one. This is piles two. And this is pile three. Alrighty, we're going to dive in and go straight to pile one. Hello, pile one. You guys are the ones who chose this beautiful shell right here. So we're going to go dive in. We have two sets of tarots that are already pre-shuffled alongside two oracle cards as well, like two decks of oracle cards. So... Let's see. All right, we have, we have the Five of Cups reversed, the Lovers reversed, the Queen of Swords reversed, and the Eight of Wands reversed. Interesting. Um, my intuition automatically is telling me that um that all this reverse energy is because of it's like a blockage like deep down they see you guys as love interests and he or she wants to come fast with communication and clarity but yet this is their mindset right now they're in this five of cups which is like grief and grief and sadness and loss it's also like talking about wallowing and self-pitying and stuff like that so just because these are in reverse, it doesn't mean that they don't feel something. I do think that this person thinks about you quite frequently, but isn't willing to make the steps just yet. But... I think that they do want to come forward and um, express how they feel, but there is some type of blockage, maybe with their throat chakra. Okay. Now we have the Five of Cups. Again, we have the Five of Cups. Interesting. The Emperor. The Strength. The Eight of Pentacles reversed. And the Page of Pentacles. Okay. They think about having a new start with you for sure. I think they see you really as the one who's fighting for this connection. Or you have fought for this connection. Um... 
Yeah, they want to make big player moves is kind of what I just heard. Um, but again, they're in this kind of victim mentality or just there's a lot of like sadness. But this person could also be going through depression. Okay. Like, I feel that maybe there's a period where, like, they're in this funk, but somehow Spirit's going to help them transform and get out of it. And then they'll be able to be more courageous with this Emperor. They'll step up and tell you exactly how they feel. But I'm getting the impression right now as I'm reading the energy that this person thinks about you quite frequently. This person thinks about you all the time. They want to maybe work with you. They want you to know that like, there's no other options for me. You're the one that fills my cup. Or you're, the, you're the one that I'm interested in because there's nobody else that can match you. Like you're unique. You're one of a kind. I've never encountered someone like you before. And maybe in the past they had this player mindset where they were trying to, and then maybe when you guys fell out, um, they tried to, you know, pursue other people. But at the end of the day, they were just like, no, they're not this person. They're not you, like the watch, the one who's viewing this. They're not this person. They're not pile one. Um... I think there is a definite soul connection. I think you fought for this more than this person did initially. And so, like, maybe you were just like, I'm done. Like, I'm done being the anchor here. Like, I'm I'm tired of it. It should be both ways. It should be a two-way thing, give and take, you know, not one party. And that's absolutely true. That is absolutely accurate. But this person will fight for you. But it's like right now, like, like I said, they're in this lower vibration. Bless their heart. Like, they're very sad and depressed in, in general. They might be feeling stuck in a situation that they can't get out of. Or, it, like I said, it could be, like, depression. And depression is real, guys. I feel like it could be anxiety, a lot of things. Maybe they don't want you to see this part of themselves. They want you to see them as this bold, strong person. And maybe they just think if they showed their weakness that it will be... I think it has to do with how this person grew up, honestly. So the, the communication might come if it's not already there, but it'll be distant. Like, it'll be sporadic, like every now and then. This person will say something because, like I said, they are still in a low, low um, mood, low energy level. So they don't want you to see this part. But I think that spirit is helping this person heal. And you might heal as well. You might need to heal of some things. And I do see that there's going to be a coming together. Like, um, what's it called? A reunion, reconciliation. I think also you might work with this person in the future, perhaps. This, your commitment is being tested for sure. Like, for, there's two different options. So, like, if you were with this person for a very long time and, like, it ended, then this person really has a lot of regrets in how they've responded and, and things, and um, they're going to apologize to you. If this was more of like a situationship kind of thing where it never really got serious, or if you dated only for a month to three months, still, this person regrets what they did. They wanted more, but they they wanted it to be more, but there was a lot going on. And so, I feel that you guys have separated for a while, or if you've been 
talking. It's been very sporadic and distant for like a very long time. And you're always on this person's mind, always. They regret not being honest with you, not being upfront about like what it is that they want. Um, sorry, I'm just pushing them back, but I was referencing this. They regret not being honest with you and being clear about, I felt that maybe this person wore a mask, so they didn't really tell you how they felt. Like, maybe you just thought this person didn't care, but this person really, really did care for you. But I think you fought more than this person did, and so, like... Once the healing and the transformation stuff is is done, then they're going to fight for this connection. I'm just trying to... Alright, let's look at the oracle cards. This is the seven energies. Oops. This is the oracle of the seven energies. The oracle's gift. The time machine. Spirit of gratitude. Okay. So, this is talking about how grateful they are to have had you or to have met you. Um, they're extremely grateful. Whenever they think about you like they always do, they're just very grateful that they've met someone like you, someone who is really nurturing and sweet. Um, you were like this light to them. You were definitely this light source, this boost of um, hope for them and encouragement and you believed in them maybe when nobody else did and so whenever they recall on this situation um, and meeting you they always are grateful they are super 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 grateful it's kind of like almost spiritual awakening maybe like they're like and maybe they were a person who didn't really believe in God but then after meeting you they're like this has to be this has to be something spiritual. Like, maybe there is. Like, maybe maybe there is a God, you know? Because, again, it was this whoosh. Like, they weren't looking for anything. And then you came. And it kind of, like, threw them off a bit. But they want to go back. Like, they, they, I think this is more talking about nostalgia. So they, they replay a lot of good moments and memories and laughs that you, you guys have shared. Um, they want to give you some insight on how they've been and why they acted the way that they acted. They want to tell you how thankful that they are to have met you. They wish that they could maybe turn back time and redo things over again because there's possibly some regrets. Um... But I think they're getting clarity from their guides or something. Like they're getting a lot of signs and synchronicities. You might as well be get. You might also be getting a lot of signs and synchronicities as well. Maybe like repeating numbers, a lot of dreams, perhaps. But yeah, this person sees you as their like this light source, really. Like you, you came. Maybe it, they would consider at the wrong time, but the perfect time at the same <laughs> time, okay? Um, this is weird. Okay, I know that this is something else, but you see how this is her hair? Like, her hair is like... But some, when it was flipped over and I was looking at it, I saw two birds here, okay? And I don't even think that was supposed to be the case. But do you see how it was wobbly, sorry. Now there's two birds. Is it just me? I I just think that I saw that for a reason. Um you two are going to come together. 
and definitely if you want this person back because I think for some of you you're kind of like I'm just done like I'm so done and if that's the case this person would totally understand they would be sad about it for sure but ultimately they, this person just wants the best for you they just want you to be happy you know they realize that they didn't put a lot of effort in hardly any effort and they are so sorry about that but they're so grateful that you were there for them and they're like if you know I feel that maybe once this person gets their healing or transformation done I think that they will fight super hard once they're in a better um, healed mindset that's honestly what I feel This is so hard because I can't even see. All right, last but not least, we have the Ancestors Oracle. Peacemaker, let go of the need to be right. Shaman, trust in higher forces, definitely. And fire guardian, ignite your passions. You like this person's flame. Alrighty then. So, um, I think that there are definitely, you know, a lot of spiritual intervention going on on his side, maybe, and your side. I really feel like there's spirit guides and messengers, you know, being like helping him out, leading him, um, to you perhaps and also just helping him heal and I think that there's just a lot of forces at play like on your behalf of this like on the behalf of this connection you know angelic and also you know just like ancestors spirit guides just a lot I think I'm getting a whole lot of people like spiritual beings on his side and your side um Yep. This person's passionate about you, has a lot of um, flame, like you you just turn this person on. Um, but also you like inspire them to pursue their dreams as well. Um, I think this is a message for them, not for you. They need to learn how to not always have, I think this talks about like an ego check, like they have to, I think this person might have an ego every now and then, ego issue, ego issue, and it's like, they don't always have to win, like, they don't have to react so big to, like, criticisms, I feel like maybe if someone comes to them and says, hey, maybe you should drink more water, this is just a random example, and then he'll, the person would just be like, well, you should drink some more water, you know what I mean? I think they are like learning how to just calm down and maybe not let pride just answer things for this person if that makes any sense like just not having to have the last say so or win an argument or make something bigger than it actually is but there are spiritual beings at work and at play for this connection because I think that if you, it's something that you want that this has the potential to build but again I think it's gonna take some time I think it's not gonna be an overnight situation this person has hot and cold energy and it could be very frustrating and annoying but um, I think you'll have luck either way with or without this person, you'll find love. But I really do think that for those who who feel this strong connection for this person, but at the same time, you're like, what? This makes no sense. It's like, well, yeah, there's a reason you're feeling this strong, this strong um, amount of emotions and feelings. Even if you weren't in a relationship for a long time with this person, there's still a spiritual connection. You guys didn't meet by chance or by coincidence. It just may have seemed like that, but I really do think you you are like faded. So this is a lovely reading. Um, 
when they are in a better headspace, they will be able to communicate more freely, but they think about you constantly. That's it for you, Pile One. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Hello, Pile Two. You guys are the one who chose this really pretty white shell right here. Okay? So we're going to go and take a look into seeing how he or she, or yeah, seeing whether he or she is thinking about you or asking if you're on, if yeah, if you're on their mind. Goodness gracious, sorry, my words. We're going to start with um, two sets of tarot that have been shuffled, and then we're going to dive and take a look into the oracle cards. So starting with the mermaid tarot, let's see. You have the sun. That's an automatic yes. If you wanted to get to the point and see whether you're on this person's mind, it's automatically yes. You have the chariot, the hanged man, and justice. Oh my goodness, guys, you have all four major arcana cards. You have major arcana cards right now. This is really serious. This is signifying specific changes that are coming soon. This is so beautiful. Wow. Wow. I think you flip this person's perspective around. You flip their world around. You know, you had them confront or come face to face with their fears. Like you had this person face their shadow. Um, you Yes, there's karma involved in your relationship, but I don't think this is your karmic. Um, definitely there's life lessons supposed to be learned on both parties. There is a definite yes that you are always, or you are on this person's mind, maybe always, since I slipped that out there. Um, they, I think with this chariot, they might be torn in two different ways. Like maybe there's you and somebody else that they're trying to make a decision on. But at the same time, at the end of the day, in their heart of hearts, they know that it's you. And I think that in time, they're going to come rushing in with some type of message. I think that there is divine intervention at play that are that's balancing this connection if it's imbalanced or there was an imbalance it's going to yeah balance the scales i think you had this you flipped i really keep getting you flipped their world around this person might have had ego issues all right big player energy not wanting anything more in relationships than like sexual encounters and you came in and they're like what is this and he flipped you had them face their fears. It scared them. Maybe this person ghosted or ran away from you because though they were like definitely enthralled or like, is that the word? Definitely enamored by you. They, they were mystified by you and felt this passionate magnetism. You like, they really found you. Hmm alluring and beautiful so they it was like they felt a lot of good but also being with you had them face some stuff they didn't even know that they had issues with like they might have been struggling with you know a lot of subliminal fears from the childhood shadows that they just didn't realize but then for some reason meeting you had them face these and triggered them in some capacities. So they, the intensity of the connection and everything, it scared them. They were like, no, maybe they felt bound by this connection at one point in time. But now it's like, you know, the spirit's been like on them. Like they were trying to maybe fight this off, but they're just like, okay, they're going, getting to the point where they're like, I surrender. Like, I, su I surrender, you know? Like, okay, obviously, <laughs> there's no escaping this feelings. I've tried to get this person off of my mind. But clearly, 
I can't. So they're getting, oh, this is so beautiful. They're getting like an enlightenment of some kind. They're, they're seeing things in a, in a different perspective and they're gaining clarity. They're allowing, you know, spirit to move. Um, You guys were really happy together. I think that maybe it was a friendship or is a friendship, but there were deeper feelings involved here. I do see like all of these are major arcana cards. So that definitely has to say that there's a significant change go about to happen or there are things going on perhaps behind the scenes that you're not quite aware of, but there's major, major changes on the horizon. Yes, you are on this person's mind a lot, and I think that for a lot of you, this person is on your mind. They might be in your life. You might not be separated from this person, but um, it might be a friendship, and you're wondering if they want to take it to another level. If that's the case, then absolutely. We have the four. I cannot make this up. I can't make this up. I really cannot. I'm shaking the table. Look, this is the home. You make this person feel at home. There's maybe you, you guys both felt alive with one another. This is also could talk about marriage or twin flames. Uh, twin flames are really rare, but maybe there are some of you who are watching and this is your it's a sign clarifying that this person is your twin flame. This is the Nine of Cups. Talks about joy, happiness, Knight of Wands. <laughs> this is like the the flirty, charismatic um, person. Who might be reckless and rebellious at times. Here's the Ten of Pentacles. This is beautiful. This is the like legacy, the home life. Having a happy home um, with your significant other in the, in the relationship lasting for a very long, long time. It could be like in game. And then we have the King of Pentacles in the rivers. Let me just... Can you see it? Okay, so, wow. Wow. They see you as the one they want to settle down with. Um, I think that this person makes you feel alive, but this person could be a bit of a player. <laughs> um, yeah like not wanting to settle down. It's weird, like there's two different things, different energies, settling down, not settling down. Or it's just talking about having fun. You both make each other come alive or feel alive. Even though this King of Pentacles is in reverse, he does want to make an offer to you or she wants to make an offer. I'm getting that this is something some, that he wants to do he wants to be like here you go but it's not right now it's not right now I do think that there's going to be a power move though in the near future um, I can't really give a time frame but there is going to be something swiftly I think something's going to happen maybe it won't be you know a commitment or like anything like that or engagement, but um, it's, I think it will lead to engagement for some of you. And you might have a family with this person because there's so much going on here, like so many positive, bright energies in your spread. I am so happy, kinda jealous. <laughs> we have, um, yeah, I think that there's ultimate happiness and potential and like this, I feel a good energy coming from the connection. 
I think that there there may have been a, like a more someone giving more than the other person, and the scales are going to balance. But I really do think that this is an equal give and take. Maybe this is what it will be like an equal give and take of um, expressions and emotions. I think that you have a loving friendship with this person, and this is what's going to build to something more. Okay. That's what I see. You might be married to, you might get married to this person one day in the future, but not like, obviously not right away because I do mostly see friendship right now or just like flirty energy, but it could build to so much more. Okay, let's look at the Oracle cards. Oops. All right, we have a merry motive. Quieting the mind. Willing release. I think you had to let go of this person. Um, this is only for some of you. I think you had to let go of this person so that things could come back together. I think... Maybe you were, you felt that this wasn't right. Um, I can't do this anymore. This person's not willing to, to take things on a deeper level. So maybe you let go of this person and left it to the universe, you know, and it was like, I'm letting this go. And if it's meant, it will come back to me. That type of, en that type of energy, um, Or it could mean if you're still talking to this person and it, there's never been a separation, that this person is now surrendering to the divine and allowing himself to be transformed on the inside. Again, I see happiness here. I see so much happiness here with the sun, with the nine of cups, and with this merry motive. I'm getting... Like, almost this youthful, but also old soul, like, home life. But just happy, happiness. Like, a very young, youthful energy. Like, you might be old souls, but you have a youthful spark, a youthful energy. Um, I think that he's trying to, or she's trying to still their mind. Maybe um, go through introspection. Maybe if they're being quiet, it's because they're trying to work on themselves and meditate, clear any, clear away any negativity. I see so many good things for this pile. Like, the last pile was positive too. This is just out of the water though. Like, this is so beautiful. This is so, like like powerful even spiritual this is like on a whole nother plane okay um i think you know this deep down you know this i think you're meant to be in each other's lives in some capacity this could just be a friendship you know in the end that you feel at home with but i do think that there's also the potential for something much more um, so much more, like, I'm getting emotional, because it's so pretty, like, I see you having a family with this person, I could see you getting married to this person, and this, and you guys being together for the rest of your lives, this is how this whole thing is speaking to me, this is, like, the person for you, or the friendship for you, like, either way, romance or friendship, but um, I got a lot of you, I'm just getting romance here, or it will build to romance. And you are also being called to me maybe meditate and still your mind, um, clear away toxicity even maybe, and let go. I think you have let go. This person needs to let go, you know. Um, but I do see... I do see a coming together. I see just this big ray of light, like all 
over, like hovering down on your connection. Um, this is a power play here. It's beautiful. And then let's look at the last of your oracle cards. Eagle, see from a higher perspective. Lady, enjoy growth and reap rewards. Snake, shed old skin. Out with the old and end with the new. Um... Maybe your person had to take a step back and or he realized that this is something much more than he had first realized. Maybe there was a mistake that if this person was, you know, a player that this is just like everybody else. But then it was like once once he took a step back or is taking a step back, he's like, wait, no. This person is not like everybody else. Wow, wait, hold on. Um, whatever happened in the past, if anything happened in the past that was bad, I think it's being left in the past. And I see, I think that something better is coming forward, is sprouting from the ground like a flower. I think that if there were bad things, it's like it's gonna be like long forgotten, it's gonna be in the past. Maybe. This is a call for forgiveness on both sides um, or just uh, seeing things higher. Like if this person did some silly things, um, it's like what you can't see is maybe this person has a lot of inner wounds, you know? So maybe you could see from a higher perspective in that regard. And then for them, it's like seeing things in a higher perspective is like what this connection actually means. It's, it is, it means more than they thought at first. I think that you guys are going to be prosperous. And I think you're going to be financially stable if you're with this person because we have this. I think this could mean wealth. Or just success and prosperity as well. We have two prosperities. I think that, but um, it could also talk about not, you know, not rich, but it could be wealthy, wealth um, as well. Just security in both your materials and finances and in the connection. This is like the love reading that I would want to get, you know? <laughs> so this is nice. I'm happy for you. You're always on this person's mind. I do get the sense that if you're not talking to them, then they'll come to talk to you because they miss your energy. So they'll be back. And I think that any moment of time now, this is gonna, you know, get to something more something deeper but i think maybe you should let this person make the power moves maybe like let them chase you and you be on the receiving end of it okay because if you chase this person at first it's time for them to do it but if that doesn't apply to you like then that's okay i think that this connection is growing and it's only going to grow more and more and more. And I think, I think you both will be going places. There's a lot of spiritual intervention at play for your behalf. I think that this is written in your soul. I think that this is fate like at play if you believe in that you destined to be in each other's lives for sure. I don't think that you want to walk away from this person. I think you want this person around. That is your reading pile too. It is beautiful. I hope it resonated with you. 
Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Last but certainly not least, we have Pile 3. Um, does he or she think about me? We're going to look and take a dive into that. And it's for those who've chosen this shell right here. Okay. I have um, pre-shuffled these cards and I have two sets of oracle, I mean, two sets of tarot and oracle cards. So starting with the tarot, we have the eight of swords. The Knight of Cups. Beautiful. I love this card so much. The Nine of Cups. We had that on the last pile. And the Seven of Swords in reverse. Alright, so when it comes to reverse cards, I'd, I my intuition... Um, does it differently maybe than like most than the original meaning of reverse cards or how other psychics read reversed cards i i do it differently but you know for the uprights i i do the actual meaning that it's referenced to so i think that this person feels stuck I don't think it has anything to do with you, though. I don't think that they feel stuck in a, um, in their connection to you or in a connection with you. I think that there is something that they think is holding them back from getting to you. I think maybe there could be responsibilities. There could be family, toxic um, people or manipulative people um, that are trying to you know, hold this person down, you know? Um, and so they feel stuck. Uh, they feel they could be in a stuck situation or maybe they feel tied down in responsibilities. But I'm getting the sense that this person wants to run straight to you. They want to run straight to you, but for some reason they can't right now. They cannot, right? And I don't think it's like just a mindset. I think it's literal, I think that there's a literal, not like anyone literally holding this person down, but I do get the sense like, cause this could mean, you know, you're stuck, but it's just because of the way you see things, you know, like you're stuck in your negative thinking and maybe you need to see things, um, more in a grateful manner, but I don't think it's mindset in this energy. I think that there is something almost restraining them literally. It could be like an obsessed partner or just like ex or family. It could be anything. But I get the sense that they want you. They want you. They want to run to you. I think like if the when the ropes are cut or whenever they're in this unstuck thing, whatever it is, whoever it is or whatever the situation is that's holding them back, once those ropes are cut, they're sprinting. They're like literally sprinting to you because um, you kind of awakened their emotions. You opened up healing for their heart chakra. They realized that they do want this, like love. And maybe they were wearing a mask before, but it's like deep down, hidden behind like all the like shadows or him pushing it down underneath it all, under the facade is this emotional being, like this emotional person who is a romantic, who um, wants love to find love to seek it and treasure it so i think maybe you've awakened this um 
emotional, romantic person deep within. They always had it in them. It's not like you brought it to them. You can't really bring things to people, but you can remind them. I think you, you reminded them. They're like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And there was like this shift. Like, I, I do want this. It was deep, deep, deep inside this person, but it was covered by like ego, maybe pride, um, a lot of wounds, perhaps. Yeah, you are on this person's mind a lot. They want to run to you. They're kind of frustrated because they can't get to you quick enough. Or they feel like they're restrained in some type of capacity. But I think that you make this person extremely happy and joyful. They're like super grateful to have known you. I think you may have met them at a rough spot in their life. And maybe you were in a rough spot in your life as well. Okay, with the Seven of Swords in reverse here, when it's upright, I dislike this card so much. I dislike this card so much because it talks about deception and betrayal um, and lying. But I think that it's in the reverse, so maybe they were in that energy, but now they're not anymore. Or they're coming out of that deceptive, like, deceptive traits and habits. And, yeah, they're getting more open to admitting their faults, maybe, or just changing that, that mentality, something like that. But they want to run to you. They want to be in your presence and your energy like they want to meet up with you they miss you I think for some of you you guys have been separated for a very long time and you have not left this person's mind that's for sure we have the ten of wands again this talks about responsibility a lot of weighted responsibility so maybe that th maybe it's talking about feeling bound by other things, other responsibilities that they have to do. There's the Page of Swords. There's the Hierophant. There's the Six of Swords. You guys had the most tarot, like these tarot cards. Um, there's the Six of Wands, talks about victory, success. There's the Wheel, talks about fate and um, things shifting for the better in a transformative way. Good luck. And the Knight of Cups again! Oh, I love it when repeated cards from both tarots like come out. This happened in pile one. Okay, look. Knight of Cups. Bam. Knight of Cups. Bam. I have to tell you, of all the cards of tarot, this one is my favorite for some reason. This is my favorite. This gets me so just happy. <laughs> and just, mm -hmm. <laughs> Because this talks about, this talks about the romantic gentleman who like pursues and chases after the one that they want. The romantic, the person who's vulnerable and just Oh, ideal, this ideal partner for me, like the personality traits, it would be this. Um, so yeah, I think that, um, hold on, let me push this up. Okay, so maybe they felt that there were responsibilities that they were obligated to do. And so maybe there became a distance between the two of you. Maybe he felt like he was listening to family or it was the way he was raised or something. But he wants to move away from it. If it's another person, I think he's moving away from that. But I think it could also just talk about the way his energy is. 
I think he's moving away from a stuck analytical or player uh, energy into someone emotional. That's for some of you. Um, there's curiousness, there's restlessness on their part. I think that this talks about, you know, the hands of fate at play here. Um, he wants to give you a message, uh, a message I think that will take you by total surprise. There's also victory and success here. I do see that this could be something that is recognized by people or you might together um, work together. I just see recognition on your relationship to this person. So people might be inspired by the relationship or people might um, boost up the relationship. I think that there might also be haters, but for the most part, there's going to be people, some, I don't know why I'm getting like this vision of so many people looking at the two of you together. So I think you, you guys might become a public figure, um, of some kind. This might not apply for a lot of you guys watching though. There's emotional baggage from his past or her past that is work getting worked on or healing. This person was deceptive in the past for sure. They were deceptive. They might have like messed around with multiple people at once. Could have been manipulative and like lying, deceptive. But I think when you see this person again, it's going to be like a different person. I think that when you actually physically meet up with this person, again, it's going to be like, who, I'm sorry, like, th like, it's going to be a totally different person as far as, like, the mindset, maybe more mature, more um, emotionally open and capable. I do see destiny here. So, um, you're destined for one another. I do see this as romance only. So if you were thinking about a friendship, then you might want to see pile two because this is literally only talking about romance. Um, they feel so much for you, but I think it's hidden. They feel so much like love for you. I just don't think that a lot of you are aware of it, of how, how deep it goes. But I do see that things are definitely shifting. And you might have a, a letter or just might give you flowers. All right, we have bearing fruit, endless possibilities, seeing beyond. Okay, this talks about your intuition. So whatever your intuition says regarding this, like, I think this also can mean like wish wisely. Um, if you have to really listen to your intuition, if your intuition, like sometimes your emotions in your heart Space can kind of override your intuition. Same thing goes along with your mind. Sometimes your logical thinking mind can override what your intuition says. But deep within, in your gut, um, meditation always helps to bring out this clarity if it's like kind of confusing. Um, your intuition never lies. It's your inner voice. I think this is also like maybe messages from like angels, guardian angels and stuff like that. It never lies. So if it's saying, like, this is it, you know, this is beautiful, this is, like, the one, then believe it. If it's saying, well, maybe there's a better one for you, then listen to it. Like, like 
if you believe in God, it's like God will only give you what what's the best, you know? Like he only wants what's best for you. So if if you deserve somebody more and better, then you'll get it and it'll make you happy in the end. Um, but I really do think that for a lot of you that this is your person. Like this is um, the person that's meant for you if you if you believe in that or if you want it but you ultimately have the power play you get to choose what it is that you want so if you want this person great they want you to if you don't want this great then there, there'll be somebody else as well I think that this is this um, relationship has grown over a long period of time I think that you guys can go places, um, reach your dreams. I think maybe you might work together somehow. You might achieve um, attention. Okay? Lastly... Ooh, talk about divine intervention and destiny. Ooh. <laughs> we have, Lord, take charge with authority. Okay, this is literally a message uh, for him or her. Like, they need to take action, you know? Step up, up uh, confidence, you know? But it's also, like, like Lord here. Like, <laughs> <laughs> sorry okay i love him bringing things together like literally um him oh my gosh no way i do not look at these cards before i uh you know flip them over in the piles so i'm sorry if i get like this loud reaction <laughs> Um, we have another Lord here. Like, <laughs> great teacher. Learn from spiritual experiences. Divine connection. Oh, man, this is a spiritual connection now. I didn't even see the spiritual connection part, but I do now. Like, I saw someone who who cared about you a lot and I saw destiny before these cards came but now this is a spiritual divine connection <laughs> that God if you believe in God himself is bringing together oh this is beautiful oh I'm about to get emotional and we ooh, hold on <laughs> We also have guardian angel. You are not alone. I think this is your guardian angel, the pile three. This is a, a, your angel trying to get something across to you. Is that you're not, you're not alone. And that um, I think your angel's telling you not to worry. Because this is already in the bag. This is already secured. This is already a done deal. We have um, God here who, like, listen, listen very closely. God who makes all people, right? He specifically made you and specifically made your person so that you two would be together, okay? He specifically created you and he specifically created your person specifically <laughs> for you two to meet like you were made for this person and and they were made for you okay specifically <laughs> like the like spiritual connection unbreakable bond okay like this is the type of relationship or or connection to where you could be separated for years but you will always be tied to this person. Maybe in some capacity they felt stuck or you feel stuck about it. But 
you always come back to one another. You always think about each other. You might get dreams or have had a lot of dreams of this person because God made you two for it to be to, like, like, I just get the impression that, like, he really did, like, literally. Like, you hear the, like, phrase, we were made for each other. This is literally that. God literally created you and then brought this person to be born so that you two would be together. Like, I can't, I just got this in my head and I keep saying this 10,000 times I'm sorry but that's so beautiful that's the impression I'm getting it's like it's just like oh man divine connection here oh my gosh like I'm not okay you know if you are familiar with the story of Adam and Eve I'm talking about like before like everything went crazy so you know how there was Adam and like then then he then God specifically made Eve so that they could literally I feel like they were the first twin flames, right? Well, I'm saying in a way that he, like it's related that he you were made for like each other. Like they were made for each other. Do you get it? So <laughs> So, um, I think that I would be jumping up and down if I were you, okay? Things are looking up. I will try to keep this short. Things are looking up and it's only getting better from here. <laughs> That's it. That's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for another video I'll post maybe in a week or so. And I hope that um, this resonated for you. I think it will for a lot of you. And thanks again. Bye.